Walker and Rise and Shine with Fel and DJ. And uh, you know, be happy to know, DJ, I'm getting yes. more people from my praise and worship it's band It's turned into a praise here. and worship band now, Well, we've it? got, because we have okay. Queen Catherine, obviously, on saxophone. Yes. I'm going to play flute. Naomi is going to be a vocalist for okay. us. Okay. Mickey, she said she can play drums. L- it sounds it's like an all-female. Be- well, or I'm, is this I'm, an all-female band? I'm happy you? with that. But, you know, we could have <laughs> space for uh, someone else. I've actually just had someone walk in. We'll ask his opinion. Yeah. Someone who's quite knowledgeable on music. Phil Edwards, CEO. How are you, Phil? I'm very well. Would you want to be part of our? It's praise or it's worship. Well, if worship. you have an all female band, Phil, <laughs> <laughs> that's just true. I was just thinking. <laughs> well, that's true. This well, we don't. You know, it can't be all girls. Now, it doesn't have to. But what would you bring to the party? What are you bringing? Catering, obviously. Oh well, then yes, <laughs> definitely. You're in. You've got a roadie. You've got your first roadie right there. Over there, or, or, or a manager. Or we a are manager. very happy for men to serve us with food. Okay, so that's okay. fine. That is fine. That sounds good. Well, listen. I know. Uh, thank you so much for making the time to pop in on The Breakfast Show. Uh, you're running around, uh, everyone's running around at the moment getting everything. And by running around, I mean, you know, just busy. Busy. <laughs> not busy. running, no, literally no, bumping no. into each other. Yeah, exactly. The it's visual not, is quite chaotic, yeah, isn't it, really? don't, don't think chaos. Just think busyness <laughs> at the moment because six days from now, Visionathon is upon us for 2024. And, uh, you know, I, I guess the first question, especially for a lot of new listeners, is why do we do a Visionathon? Why do we stop everything and do vision, Visionathon a couple times a year? Well, we've got to put some fuel in the tank. That's pretty much as simple as it gets. And uh, apart from that, we actually, I think, it creates an opportunity to cast vision and inspire people toward the mission that God has given all of us mm. by demonstrating that he changes lives mm-hmm. through his word. You know, the, the scripture says the word of God is alive and powerful. It cuts through. You know, this is my translation here, but it actually, you know, it gets in. You remember those old ads on the TV? Yeah. Mrs. Marsh, she had that bit of chalk. Oh, that was and brilliant. She put it in, the, in whatever that dye was, yes. you know. It gets in like liquid into this chalk, you know. Yeah. Great marketing. Yeah. Do we right really there. want blue liquid into our teeth, though? That was my feeling <laughs> as a child. I know. I know. But look, the Word of God is like that. It actually penetrates yeah, if, if we will expose ourselves to it. And one of the things I love about what vision does is that it's just this constant soundtrack, a constant narrative that is there mm. of God's way of thinking mm. and just think about it like everything else around us whether it's other media or conversations we have around the water cooler in the workplace or just the natural disposition we have as people mm. is always to go to the negative to look at the problem but God says no lift your eyes look at me I'm bigger than all that stuff yeah. and I've actually got a plan here and it's one for you to thrive and not just sort of eke out an existence. Mm. You know, Jesus said, I've come to give you life in all its abundance. Mm. That's right. Mm. To give you to the fullest. You know, there's lots of different it's it's yeah. a good verse actually to look at one of those side by side really is. things, yeah. right? So yeah. uh, the translations, because you can get all these different angles of what Jesus meant when he said, I've come to give you life abundantly. Yeah. And we are very fast forgetters. So those of us who've maybe maybe been around for a while Mm. and we know the truth of God, but we're very fast at forgetting and we're very quick at looking at our circumstance, our way of thinking, our way of doing things. And what vision does for those people is gets in the middle of all of that and is kind of a positive disruptor. Yeah. Yeah. And we disrupt the the thinking and we help people to look to God. You hear us talk about that all the time. It's really as simple as it gets. And for other people who perhaps haven't come across this truth yet, you know, we're doing this in a public setting. So we are there and able to help them for the first time for some people to go, wow, this is interesting. I want to lean in some more here. And yeah. So that's why do we do Visionathon? Well, we're not, you know, we're not funded by advertising. We're not funded by the government. You yeah. know, we're, we're funded by the passionate people around Australia like you who believe in the mission of God that Jesus sent us out into all the world. Matthew 28, go into all the world. Do what? Preach the gospel, mm. make disciples. And that's mm. the business we're in. And you know, practical reality, it takes a few dollars to do it. And uh, that's uh, that's why we do Visionathon. I like it. I like, I like, you, you, you give me a mental picture there. It's almost like... You know, you read time and time again, and especially in the Old Testament, where you know something God does something, they build a marker to remind themselves. You know, yeah. in future generations, yeah, the, the pile of stones. Yeah, right? the pile yeah. of stones is here. What's this for? Well, this is to remember this. Some a lot of the stories that come through during Visionathon, at least for me personally, just for me in my heart, go. I go. I get to look back and go, oh, that's a milestone in that person's life, and encourages me to keep going in my faith as well. 
Yeah, there's a story you'll hear during Visionathon of a guy, I can't remember his name, but he lives in the suburb of Success. What a great <laughs> suburb. I know, Where wouldn't is you it? love to live there? That's in Perth. <laughs> Success the, in the Perth. Southern, the southern part of Perth. Because there are some funny names in Perth yeah. suburbs, but that's a good one. <laughs> but, but the thing that struck me about this guy is he felt like an absolute failure. Wow. Really? And the what the a contrast. On. Yeah, exactly. And he, uh, he's been on this journey and he said, Vision has actually been part of that for me that has actually helped to change my thinking. Yeah. You know, again, the scriptures tell us that we are renewed by changing the way we think. And it's right. actually God does that as we are exposed to his word and his way of thinking. Mm. And he said, you know, basically was saying, thank you so much for walking this journey with me. I've come from this very dark place of, you know, almost taking my life wow. to now living a life that is much more in that thriving place, still working through a few things, mm. but you've been able to walk the journey with me. And that's what we do every day. Mm. And, you know, you'll hear stories like that next week. So I encourage you, tune in. Uh, there, there's going to be a lot of stories and some of them will have you know, a real heartfelt element to them like that. And some of them will be incredibly simple, like one that, uh, that came through just the other day, a quick comment from Lloyd. Uh, thank you so much, Lloyd, for telling us this very simple truth. He said, "Vision has helped me a lot. Thank you." <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's as it. simple as that. You know? Yes, <laughs> one end of the spectrum to the other. Well, listen, Phil, stick around uh, if you can. Uh, you mentioned it does take some. You know, it does take uh, some some petrol in the tank to keep us moving here. I actually want to get into the actual facts and the figures of what that actually means for us this year. We're going to listen to Mallory Hope in just a moment, and back with Phil Edwards on Rise and Shine. Uh, now, you were giving us a bit of a rundown. We're talking about the, the, the whys behind Visionathon. I think that's really, really helpful. But th the question that I've got is, you know, and I, I don't know if it's out there anywhere, but you mentioned it takes, you know, it, it takes fuel in the tank to keep us running. Mm. Every, every, I've, I've been at two Visionathons so far in my time here. This is number three for me. What is the goal that we're asking the Vision family and we're believing in faith to step up to? What do we need in the tank to keep us running? What's the what's the final figure? Well, the very first goal is that uh, we would inspire people to step up and be part of what we're doing. That's mm, yeah, that's wonderful. just number one. Mm. And my prayer is that that, and this is for myself too. I've been my wife uh, Joe and I have been uh, you know thinking about okay, what should we do this time around? Mm. Mm. Uh, so that's goal number one is mm. simply that you would take this seriously and do what you can uh, with what you've got. We're not asking you to do something with something you don't have, but mm -hmm. what do you have? It's like, you know, God said to Moses, what's in your hand, mate? I don't think he said mate, but... <laughs> that's you know the Aussie translation. That's, 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 yeah, exactly. that, that's the Aussie Bible. But, but basically he said, what do you got? And, and yeah. what did Moses have? He had a stick of all yeah. things. It was, you know, he something that most of us would go, that's not particularly significant. So that's goal number one. And then collectively, as we do that, we are believing in faith for sufficient fuel to go into this tank to keep this vehicle running on this big trip that we're on. Mm. Now, think about the size of Australia. Yeah, that's it's right. It's a big country. Do you know how many people uh, are in, in the space of this country? Oh, 26 are there we up There you go, to? 26 million. We're not very good with figures here. No, 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 too hard. They keep, it, keep it big. Yeah, that's so, right. So give or take, there's, there's 26 million people in Australia. So that's 26 million souls. Yeah. And our prayer is that every single one would have the opportunity, for starters, to know the truth of God mm. and that ultimately that every single one would actually know him, yeah, mm. would be right. reconciled to him. You know, that's our, that's our prayer. Now, that's a big lofty thing. Well, you to, know, that's to, God's goal as I know, well. So. I know. But, mm. you know, there's, I love dreaming big about, yeah. about things. And what we're doing, we've been on a, on a big journey. Uh, vision has been growing like crazy. And, and last year in particular, we had some very big things happen across the course of the year. A whole stack of small communities we were launched in. Yeah. Yep. Uh, of course, uh, the DAB citywide coverage came Massive. on air in, Massive. in Brisbane in, what was it, April last year. Uh, then it was actually, technically it was 2024, Sydney and Melbourne came on. It was the 1st yep. of January this year, but yep. we had to do all the preparation work and sign the contracts and all that sort of stuff last year. Vision Kids started last year, you know, and on it goes. Vision is growing and growing mm. massive toward this dream yep. of taking the good news of God, the gospel, to every corner of Australia. So it's it's a big country, so it's actually a big amount, DJ. Well, I know I've, I've done a little bit of research here, and I know that, you know, comparable – I'm thinking what's comparable in Australia? You know, you've got the ABC radio mm -hmm. network and things like that, and they're on – you know, that's hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, I can tell it's you, I can tell you the ABC that we're all paying for. Yeah, uh, invol involuntarily. 
Yeah. Uh, we uh, are collectively contributing toward all of what they do, radio, television, online, and so on, over a billion dollars wow. a year. Okay, so wow. we're not we're not we're not going quite that big. No, we're not, <laughs> no, we're not going quite that big. And it right? shows so, what we're achieving <laughs> yeah, yeah, with yeah. less. Correct. Correct. Now, so put it into context. Vision's budget for everything we do mm. is about eleven million dollars. Okay. So oh. some people think you know Visionathon is kind of the the start and finish of it. Mm. It's not. It's only one component. Very okay. important. So we need to put some fuel in the tank. So we are believing by faith for a very specific amount for a very key reason. So our need is about $2 million. Okay. But we want to fo- focus our attention on why, not you know, not the number. The number kind of doesn't really matter. Okay. It's actually why we're doing this. So our goal for Visionathon that we're believing by faith for is a minimum of $2,026. <laughs> Just a second. Wait, just wait a, a second. <laughs> All right. Wait a minute. I, I just had to put in a couple of receipts for the Cairns trip, and one of them came to twenty six dollars for the. Pe- it's, <laughs> well, not it's not that. It's not. It's not. It's not. Well, you it's never. not that. <laughs> but why two million and twenty six dollars? Yeah. It's because there are twenty six million souls in this country. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. we just want to focus our attention on why are we doing this? Every person. That's exactly right. Yeah. Mm. Why are we doing this? We're doing this for the twenty six million souls in Australia yeah. mm. that need to know the truth of God. Yeah. Now, the reality is we're not going to reach every single one, you know, today. Yeah, uh, it's it's a goal that's going to take a while to unfold. But I can tell you, just look at the history of vision. Mm. It's the way that this has unfolded over the last thirty five years to today. It's incredible. And as the momentum continues, as we continue to lean in, we continue to be faithful toward God, what God has called us to do. We continue to focus on uh, the, the the really important things of helping people look to Him on a daily basis. He'll take care of it, mm. but it actually does take for us to do something. That's how yeah. God works. He gives us gifts, and then he expects us to use them. Mm. Okay. Uh, it's not just going to happen by osmosis. So we will, we're making our need known. We, we are letting you know what we're doing, and we're also letting you know the great things that are happening as we work together. And we're inviting you to come on in and, and consider the part that you could play. And yeah. the question for all of us is, what could I do? And yeah. for some people... It's fifty dollars, and for other people, it's fifty thousand, mm. or even you know five hundred thousand. Who knows? Yeah. We've seen God do amazing things through people as they've responded to what He's called them to do. So that's that's our goal uh, for Visionathon. It's two million and twenty six dollars. I love how precise that is. That's great. That's great <laughs> because you know the need's about two million, but but this that's the why we're yeah. that we're doing this for the twenty six million souls in Australia. Mm. Uh, our prayer is that there would be a great spiritual awakening in this country, Amen. revival in the heart of believers, mm. and a great move of God. And uh, you know that that's not going to happen if we just sit around and think somebody else is going to do it. Yeah. Uh, God's called us; He's He's made us His ambassadors. He's called us to a commission to go into all the world and represent Him well to preach the gospel and make disciples. I love it. Wow. I love it. Hey, Phil, thank you so much for your time and giving us that. You can find all that information over at vision.org.au. We'll let you keep on rehearsing for the uh, for the all-female band uh, oh, now. <laughs> or cooking. Pick up a storm for us.